Today I want to share with you a recipe that is so indulgent and delicious that it's often referred to as crack candy or Christmas crack. This recipe only requires five ingredients and about 10 minutes of hands-on work. It kind of tastes like a crunchy pecan pie to me. It's so delicious. Don't miss the cost comparison at the end if you want to find out how much money you can save making your own dessert at home. Grab some pecan pieces, some graham crackers, baking soda, one cup of packed brown sugar, and two sticks of butter. Use half of the butter and brown sugar for a crunchier bar. Set your oven to 325 for nine minutes. Here we're gonna create a sling so we can get our bars out of the pan easily. Most people start by laying out their graham crackers, but we're gonna actually start by roasting our pecans. This will intensify their taste and add a crunchy texture. Lay out your graham crackers. Start the fire. We want a medium low, but we may need to adjust it as we work with our boiling sugar. Now we're gonna add two sticks of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and one eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Why baking soda? It stabilizes the sugar. When you see little bubbles, that's when we're gonna go ahead and set the timer for three minutes. This reminds me of the scene from Macbeth. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Shakespeare was so enchanting. After three minutes, turn the heat off. Add our pecans here and just stir those well. Try to pour the caramel sauce evenly over the graham crackers. Pecan is a Native American word, which means nuts requiring a stone to crack. Slide your mixture into a preheated 325 degree oven for nine minutes. You don't wanna get any of this hot mixture on your hands, so grab a mitt, pull this out of the oven, and go ahead and let it cool for a few minutes. After a few minutes, you could place it in the refrigerator, but I just like to leave mine on the countertop and let it cool down that way. Since we broke our graham crackers into small pieces, it's easier to go ahead and pull these apart. Should I say pecan or pecan? Well, one of these you need if you go off grid. The warm, crunchy pecan cookie goes really well with cold, creamy ice cream. Or if you're like me, you might prefer yours with a cup of coffee. They also make a great gift, maybe for Mother's Day or for a teacher you love. You wanna store your bars in a container where they're not touching each other because they tend to get a little sticky. I store mine at room temperature for about three days, but if you're gonna store them longer than that, go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. The most similar item I could find was this party tray, which cost $12.99. My pecan cookie bars only cost $4.25, which saves you $8.74 per batch. Not to mention, the home bars are full of nuts. The details are in the description if you're interested. I love this quote by William Shakespeare. Though she be but little, she is fierce. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. It can't be that way. It's got to be horizontal. Mm -hmm. How do you spin it? Twist it that way. Here we go. Ready? Ready? 